Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here now in the Muskoka region and we're staying at Whispering Pines, which is in Bracebridge. And we're going to be visiting Santa's Village. And don't forget to turn on your vacation mode. These are some of the cabins here at Santa's Village, Whispering Pines. Uh, there are different types. Some have just beds inside of the cabins and some are full um, cottages that include a kitchenette and a washroom. So just check out the site for your preferred booking accommodation type. So these cabins here are across uh, the river actually. There is uh, the main street that you have to cross but you are able to launch your kayaks and your canoes and there is also rental within the facility. Across from the pool area looks like this is uh, the non-electric sites. Um, it is close also to the playground um, and as I mentioned it is right across the swimming pool. Uh, there is also um, public washrooms and a laundry mat in this area. So these sites here 68. 64 uh, within this area are for tent campers and if you prefer non-shaded um, then this would be the place for you. So they also have a rental for yurts. There are two here at Whispering Pines. They are in a I guess more secluded area but it is close by to the playground and just nearby to the pool which is over on that side and washrooms as well over in that building. So this one here is an example of their cottage, the, the one I showed you earlier were the cabins. So these are the bigger ones. Comes with um, a grill, firing, picnic table, and there are four of them here in the area. Um, so they are again by the front um, of the campground and they are actually just right across the entrance from um, the amusement park of Santa's Village, which is over there. So this one is actually site number one. It is a pretty large site. And it has a gazebo over top of the picnic area. 
and again it is across over there is where you can rent canoes and kayaks so pretty convenient location area is just across site number one which is right there and site number two so a very short walk and I believe over here is the go-kart areas um, they are still closed right now because of COVID but just to show you what the place has to offer One of the places to eat here is Kringle's Kitchen. They basically serve burgers, pizza, hot dogs, and uh, they have also fountain drinks. And you can't bring anything to Santa's Village. Come on! Put your feet into it! Let's go! That was alright, Colleen. Muskoka River, beautiful Muskoka River, but they're also known this section as Pirate Alley. <laughs>
here in Santa's Village, there is actually a uh, play area, right, where you can uh, go to the beach. And there is also a slot pad. Take a look. So why will we go to Grace Bridge, Ontario? Basically, you have Santa's Village and Grace Bridge, the, the, to the town of Grace Bridge, which we went on yesterday. Now, Santa's Village started in the 1950s, and it was started by, in a corporation uh, with a group of businessmen. And um, after, in, in I, if I'm not mistaken, in about 1986, it was bought by a private uh, family and now it is managed by them and they did a lot of improvements to the park. just finished Santa's Village and this is actually a good um, base campground if you are exploring the area of Bracebridge and Santa's Village is actually a good place to if you're going as a group because they have several cabin and cottage um, rentals available so you know for those who have different camping um accommodation preferences then there is a lot of rentals in santa's village um, the campground has a swimming pool and across the road there is um, canoe and kayak area and they have rentals as well there is uh, there's no beach um, in santa's village though um, and also just to let you know, when you are looking at the campground map, sites 1 and 2, it looks like, based from the map, you would think that, you're, um, that you have a river or water view. Just for you guys to know, though, that it's actually a main road that you have to cross in order to get to that river, which is Lake Muskoka. So when booking this, just know that sites 1 and 2 um, is backing onto a main road and so if you don't want that um, traffic noise then book within further within the campground but if you don't mind just crossing the road and you have access to um, your canoes and your kayaks if you are bringing it then it is convenient um, in terms of Santa's Village itself, the theme park, it is a nice um, place. We enjoyed it. Um, we had kids of like all ages from um, toddlers, teenagers enjoyed it as well. Uh, right now, I believe this year they included the tree top trekking and uh, the go-karts are part of the entrance fee so which is great you know you don't have to pay anything additional to enjoy those activities and if you are going here another nice place to also enjoy is um, the town of Bracebridge there's a nice falls there which we saw which is Bracebridge Falls 
And the town itself is um, very um, nice. It's pretty. There's a lot of shops. Um, it's got that charm to it. And it's got everything you're looking for. Groceries. Um, I believe they have um, like hardware stores, you know, drug stores. It's um, pretty big. It's a big town. So it's complete with everything you would um, need. And so I think those are our thoughts for Whispering Pines in Bracebridge. You guys keep safe. Um, oh, and one other thing is um, the Muskoka River, which is across um, Santa's Whispering Pines. Um, it's not really a beach area. So if you guys are planning to maybe take a swim or anything, Please be um, just cautious, use your life jackets, um, you know, when you're swimming in areas you're not familiar with, always keep your safety. Anyways, guys, have a wonderful summer. Thanks for watching us. Till the next.